Yes. Okay. It's delightful to meet you, uh, Marina Abramovich, and congratulations. You've got so much happening in London at the moment. And you've got a retrospective at the Royal Academy. How does that feel? It's a, it's a, a venerable institution, and I believe that you're the first woman to have a solo exhibition in the main galleries. You know, we have to absolutely say that this 255 years never been woman. That's a long time. What what the British? What are you doing? Why is it like that? This is my question to you. <laughs> it's a good question. <laughs> but basically, you know, it's this show been really talked about seven years. We are preparing uh, with Andrea Tarzia, the chief curator. Then after that, you know, came the COVID postponed, have to be postponed. Then we really have to postpone again because there's so important the live element in the show, the re-performance. And then it's very important that actually we as people are saved, uh, you know, everybody from the COVID. There's still COVID is going on in some, some occasions. But now the show is for me, it's like a huge, huge moment of my life. And I look like I really cover London with events because I, it's, it's something because the wait is so long, so many things happen at the same time. It's a show in Royal Academy, is this uh, my institute, you know, showing 11 international performance artists, is the two, uh, the promotions of two books, is the tea party that I'm only making for women in Royal Academy, it's uh, my opera who is also performing in November. And I think about eight public talks. I think I need vacation after this. But it's emotional, it's wonderful. And you know, looking into the criticism, it's just, we, I have good critics, I have bad critics, and uh, to me it's really important, bad and good. It's on, I only um, it's important that nobody's indifferent. And look like we don't have anybody indifferent. And That's everybody great. Has to say something. So you'd, you'd rather have them negative but engaged? Oh, because I miss my whole life used to negative <laughs> since the <laughs> 70s, you know. It must be quite strange publicly looking back over 50 years of your career. Actually 55. And your, 55 <laughs> years of your career and your work. And you've often equated your work with your life as well. So what's it like to look back over that in, in, in one public you know, space? which is incredible. There's, I've still been asked in 55 years of my life and work that why is this art, or, or if this is art. I still have this discussion. How long is this going to take? Is till I die or in, even after? But it's unbelievable. I mean, it's, it is always the same question, that whatever I do, this is, they always question everything. And the only way I, I can do is to do my best, you know. I just do my work and I, I can't relate to the to the any of criticism because it's, it's unfair. But the looking back is overwhelming, really. Oh, it's overwhelming in so many ways. But at the same time, it's an incredible feeling of happiness because I, 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 I don't know, but in the press I already told that I had a, that four months ago the, the lung embolism and I was in coma and I was dying. And I survived that, and uh, and I was joking, you know, at that time, if I really die in the, in the last May, I will be the only dead female artist in 255 years showing in Royal Academy. So now I'm alive, and every day is is uh, is a present and happiness for me. Is and I came with the boat, you know, I could not fly. Uh -huh. I came with Queen Mary, which takes seven days to get here. I, I, it's amazing, I've never done this in my life before. It's quite a good way to travel slowly, isn't it? You it's, get more of a sense of the distance and... It's, it's incredible actually to understand, you know, looking into seven days just into ocean and understand that 70% of the, of the planet is the water and 70% in our body is just the water and how actually we are arrogant to Earth's life and everything else. You have much more sense of mortality when you take the boat. And how is it, do you think, making a retrospective out of performance art? I mean, in a way that's quite difficult. And having all of those performances, all of that work that was originally designed to be seen individually and slowly brought together, do you think it gains by being put together? 
Uh, I mean, I found it quite overwhelming yeah. altogether. First of all, I don't see the shawl as a perspective. In the beginning, when we start working on the shawl, it was a perspective, and then changed very rapidly. Because what I was thinking, which with Andrea Terzia, which we create, we actually have teams of the show. So you're going through the team, which is not chronological. We are mixing very early works with very new and works from today. So everything is mixed. And then really you start, you know, the show with participation of audience with the two pieces who are in between 50, 25 years in between. One is Rhythm Zero, one is Artists is Present. Then you go to the All My Roots with the Communist Body, which is Balkan Baroque. Then you go into this huge space. We're talking about limits of physical body. Then you go to the room, which is absence of the body, walking with the Grey Wall of China, paper rubbings and, and Polaroids. Then you go to the space just dealing with nature and participation of the public with the objects. Then you go to luminosity and so on. So they're really different stages. And uh, and they're really, in all of them, you know, I, we only choose few performances, not too many. And we are really trying to, to make them every day. So it's long duration, it's not short at all. In Poderabilia, these people are performing for four months you know, in every, in every hour they are changing. In, in Luminosity, the same. How should you view three artists are performing 12, hour, 12 days without any food and just drinking water? So we are showing really how this performance actually was made in original form. And uh, my generation, you know, hate the idea of re-performance. They never like it. But I invent re-performance myself in Guggenheim Museum in 2010, which I absolutely, not 2008, I think, which I call Seven Easy Pieces, where I wanted to re-perform the, the old performance works from the past, uh, and uh, asking permission of the artist, paying for, for the, 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 the foundation of artists is not life anymore, and showing the original work how it was with some changes. And this was really a reaction. The performance art was as nobody territory. There was everybody was taking part in fashion, in MTV, on, on television, in, in films, in everywhere. There was just taking parts of performance and, and without giving any respect to originals and the people who did it. And I think this have to stop. Because if you're if you're performing Bach, you, if you want to make techno Bach, you still have to pay to original material. So this I wanted to put some kind of order, and I did it. So now if you wanted to, you know, re-perform some pieces of past, you have to ask for permission. This was something decent to do. And what's it like for you watching your own past performances performed by somebody else? Very difficult. <laughs> I cry every time. I, I mean, honestly, the the luminosity of House with Oshu, I can't look at it. I, I, it's you know, it's the feeling that the work become independent thing out of your body, and this actually don't belong to you anymore. Belong to the world. It's incredible separation, physical is is and emotional in the same time. But I think it's also necessary. And is that something that you're yeah. pleased about, that yes, it has I the am, life of its own? Yeah, I am. But you know, this is one thing, what's happened in Royal Academy. But here in South Bank, it's a completely different story. Here in South Bank, I'm just curator, and I'm curating 11, together with my institute, 11 very different performance artwork with different, you know, artists with their own original. The only what is together is this long duration, but the, the concept is different and everything else. Yes, I mean, that must be quite exciting. I'm, you're, with your institute, you work quite a lot with the next generation of performance artists, don't and you? And your generation is everything to me. You know, the only way the performance will be living art form and never die is through the young people. And I love them and I support them and help them in any possible way. And also when I done my work, nobody ever even considered it was art. And I don't want to happen to them. If I can help, I do. And do you get something out of working with it, them as well? Oh my God, so much. You know, they give me contact with the reality, with the time we live right now. And I give them, you know, the, my experience. It's a perfectly fair exchange. It sounds like a wonderful exchange. A lot of your work is about endurance. Um, a lot of religions and cultures have recognised the value of that sort of bodily denial and and endurance for the person doing the enduring. And you recognize that in, in your more recent work. But what do you think is the value of for, to the viewer of watching endurance? How does that 
how's that you know, different? You know, it's so incredibly simple because every human being is always afraid of mortality, pain, and suffering. So what we do, we are really trying to address these problems in the performance and show the public if we can go through this, public can go through their own life because each of public have this problem in their own, you know, can be, you know, their own problems in the family, there can be accident, there can be the, the, the diseases, there can be, there's so much of this. And to me, you know, if you think about history of art, it's full of this. Every history of art dealing with, with the disasters. So only here, the, the different is that we are living body and we are vital and real in the space, which even more confrontational and more difficult to confront. But actually, it's a performance can be very much the the, the life changing experience in, in emotional level if you really see it, the good performance in, and with the right content. There are so many other things that I also propose in my Abramovich method that the people can do to themselves to get to get really in a different way centered. You know, I am now for the you know in a, in one week time placing the bus in the front of Royal Academy. This is a literally school bus from. The, the British school bus that we are painting white, we put in institute on it. Each seat inside, you know, you there for the 12 people, they can go in and they can see from the screen small instructions what to do and the detox from technology and also sit in silence for a while. The bus is not going anywhere, it's always in the front of the of the Royal Academy. But the idea is that you actually make it not physical but but actually eternal journey. But I'm also doing some big event with 2,000 children in the Royal Academy, the age of between 12 and, no, 16 and 18, which is going to be a big workshop. And I'm also thinking of the ending Royal Academy in December with some kind of pop-up event, which will, will be not inside, will be outside, you know, which I have to, you know, kind of do a deal with. So you haven't quite decided what yeah, to do. Yeah, I, want, I want to see how the energy grow. I mean, you've been at the heart of performance art now from its earliest days, really, and for, well, for half a century, and making it, shaping it. Your work's become calmer over the years, but how do you think, in general, performance art has, has changed over that time? It's changed. It? You know, first become really mainstream art to start with, and it's so interesting how the the performance art and economy go well together with each other. Every time art become commodity, there's no performance art. Every time the, the economy go to 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 complete hell, then performance art comes up. You know, performance art is all, all uh, oxygen of our society. We need this kind of art, and it's always going to be there, but just changing forms. And young generation actually recognize this more and more. So where do you think it's going from here? It's, it's just, you know, I think long duration is something that we, I'm really, I hope it's going to develop because long duration is the most difficult, but also, you know, it's it's the most changing because, you know, you not only the artist is changing doing it, public is changing together watching it because you don't pretend, you can't actually act, you show the most vulnerable self. And that's pretty much emotional and public. I mean, you see here what's happened, what's happened every other places we are working. The public start to look, they could not believe this is happening, that they bring, they bring their friends, the friends bring their friends, and become this communal experience. On the end, you could not get ticket in. And what about you? I don't see you retiring anytime <laughs> soon. <laughs> I go to die working. Yes. I love working. I'm workaholic. I just I wake up and I'm happy what I'm doing. I, I never want to do anything else, really. That's it. And what are you what are you, have you got coming up? I mean you've got a lot coming up in London over the next few months. Do you have any I, views I on to what you want to do? I'm after generally that? thinking of taking off going to some, you know, when I go, I, I don't go to holidays, I go to research. I've never been in, 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 in places like, I don't know, um, Bolivia or something. I need to go somewhere, you know, very far that you can't reach me with the, with the email, computer, telephone or anything. But then I'm already working very, also the show, Royal Academy is traveling to five different museums in next time. And it's going to uh, the Stedley Museum, it's going to uh, Switzerland, to Zurich, it's going to Vienna, 
Tel Aviv, things kind of, and also Korea, I think Seoul. But I, this is not the point. This show is done, so I have not much for me to work. I'm working on the new project. A new project actually is collaboration with uh, with um, Manchester Festival, uh, Salzburg Festival, and uh, and Barcelona, and it's really to do with the. Uh, 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 approaching the limits of physical body and dance body, I wanted to actually choreograph and uh, direct something very new based on my Balkan culture, my own mythology. It's very exciting for me to do that. And you know, opera also is a completely new form that I develop. I never think I would do opera, but now I'm so interested in exploring everything. I'm like a full of exploration mood. So plenty to look forward to. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.